Welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. It's so good to see all of you. Well, I've not really told you that I was doing a series on no-bake pies. I've told you, step away from the oven. It's too hot in the summer to put that oven out, um, on. But actually, it seems like what I have been doing is a, my own little series on no-bake pies. So anyway, I've done a few already. Um, if you're new to my channel, you might want to go um, back and look at the last few. I also have a playlist on there that I did a couple of years ago with some uh, great no-bake pies. I know there's a root beer float one on there and a few others. So today, I'm going to make another no-bake pie for you. And this one's going to be yummy and another super easy one. So, I think we should get started. What do you think? Let's get started. This pie, you only need a few ingredients for it. One of them is a pre-made pie shell. Now it calls for a graham cracker pie shell. Um, I love the shortbread pie shells, but they're very hard to find in the stores. So I purchased a graham cracker one. So I'm gonna put that aside. What you're gonna need for this recipe is, you're gonna need a small box. This is a three ounce box of Watermelon Jello. That's right, watermelon Jello. Now, this was a kick in the pants. I couldn't find watermelon Jello anywhere. Went to ShopRite, went to Stop and Shop. They were all out of it, or they weren't carrying it. I don't get it. So, of course, I went back to my good old faithful Amazon. I ordered three boxes of it, and it came the next day without all the headaches. So, if you wanna make this, you can't find the watermelon jello in your store, it is on Amazon. Um, if you want, I'll put the link down below in my description box for you. So anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice size bowl and you're gonna boil one quarter of a cup of water, which I've already done in here. I'm gonna pour it into the bowl. Then you're gonna put your box of watermelon jello in there because we're making a, a watermelon no bake pie so let's put that in and you're going to stir it until it's all dissolved and then you're going to let it sit here for a little while just till it gets to room temperature oh wow that smells good mm cameraman's behind the camera for a few minutes today. Say hello to all my subscribers, cameraman. Hello, subscribers. Oh, look at that. Can you smell it over there? Surely. I'm gonna hold it up. See if you can see that beautiful watermelon pink color in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep stirring this till I get it all dissolved. I'm gonna let it sit here at room temperature and then I'll be back to show you what we do next, so don't go away. Okay, I'm back. So what I did is I dissolved the watermelon jello in the quarter of a cup of boiling water. I mixed it all up and I let it set at room temperature. So that was pretty easy, right? All right, our next step. Oh, and before I go on, I should remind you, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go down below, smash that red subscribe and the little bell next to it till it says all and that's it you'll be a subscriber and all you do is get a notification next time i have a video up so what we're going to add to this jello is 12 ounces of cool whip this is a whip topping if you um don't want to use cool whip you can uh use a store-bought brand so what you want to be careful with is it drives me crazy this Cool Whip, it comes in, this happens to be eight ounces. There's a 12 ounce container. There's a 16 ounce container. When you go to pick them up at the food store, just be careful because I had to add four ounces to this because we needed 12 ounces. Um, it's crazy. It's easy to just pick up one from the freezer section and get home and find out, oh, you didn't have the right amount of ounces. So anyway. I'm going to fold this whipped cream into the watermelon jello. And of course it's gonna come out pink, which is what we want. 
I'm gonna get that all mixed in. And then of course, what would a watermelon pie be without watermelon, right? So we're gonna put some fresh watermelon in here. First, I wanna get this all mixed up. So it's nice and combined and it's a pretty color pink. Mm-hmm. All righty. It's coming good. It's going to be a light pink. And then when you put that uh, watermelon pieces in, they're darker. And when you cut it, it looks really pretty. So I'll make sure I put some nice stills in for you. See how nice this is coming? It's coming out like a nice light pink. So I'm going to whip it up a little more. People have been teasing me because I've been putting in those little clips of me licking the spoon. Hey, I've been licking the spoon since I was a little kid. Not stopping now. That's the best part. Licking the spoon. All right. So as you can see, I got this all mixed really good. And it's combined and it's a nice light color. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take your fresh watermelon, obviously. No seeds in it. And you're going to cube it. Cut it up in little cubes, and we're going to add two cups of this to this cream mixture. And we're going to fold it in gently. So let's do that now. Mm -hmm. Let me hold this bowl up. So I haven't mixed it yet, but look at this delight. Holy moly. Doesn't that look good? This is going to be delicious. Mm-hmm. All right, so gently fold in your watermelon chunks. Did I tell you? Make sure they're seedless. <laughs> All right, look at this. Oh my goodness. Ah, now this makes one pie. The um, Hawaiian pie I made for you the other day made two pies. We had one and it was so creamy, it was delicious. Did you like it, cameraman? Absolutely. Once we get this all combined, I'm gonna take my pie crust and I'm going to fill it with the watermelon mixture. Mm, mm, mm. So creamy and delicious. This is so refreshing looking. Did you ever put like watermelon when you have like a glass of uh, water, ice water, put some watermelon in it or um, I like to put lemon in mine. My friend told me the other day she puts pineapple in her water. You can put any fruit in your water, really. It just gives it a nice flavor. This is quite a bit of a mixture here. This is not going to be a measly little pie. This is going to be a nice pie. Mm. Can't wait to cut it. And then we'll see how those little chunks of watermelon look in it. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to put this... We're going to chill it in the refrigerator for a minimum of three hours because we want to be able to cut it. Look at this. Oh, boy. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Get it over into the edges. And really, that's all there is to it. Now, <laughs> what could be easier than that? I thought the last Hawaiian pie I made was easy, but I honestly think this one's even easier. Or maybe they're a tie. So look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So there we go. I'm going to hold it up for you for a second. You can get a little look at it. Look at that baby. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to go in the refrigerator. I have to go out for a while. So I'll put it in now and then it'll probably be ready when I come back. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll be back on the other side and we'll do a cut this and we'll do a taste testing. So don't go away. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Did a little shopping while my no bake pie was in the refrigerator chilling. And now I'm back. I'm hungry and I'm going to cut a piece of this baby and we're going to see what it tastes like. So what do you say? Let me get my knife over here. In my pie, it looks yummy. Take the first slice out. Oh, I can feel myself cutting through those chunks of melon. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know why I always get nervous taking out the first piece. 
I don't know. All right, let's see how it goes here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. I got a little piece of crust I left in there. Look at that. Mmm. I have to see where the watermelon is now. Oh, I can see it all inside there. I'll take a still of the inside of the pie. Let me get my little piece of crust out. It didn't come out. Oh yeah, that looks, oh yeah. Oh, when you cut it, you can see all the little pieces of um, melon in there. But let me do a taste testing now. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, are we ready? <laughs> We're ready. Ooh, the melons, the watermelons in here. But it's delicious. You're you're uh, you're biting on those little pieces of melon that are fresh, sweet watermelon. You have the cream around it. Mmm. Let me get a little crust. It's really good. These no bake pies are awesome. Awesome. I would say if you don't want it this creamy, leave it in the refrigerator a little bit longer. I don't know. I've never put it in the freezer. I don't know, you know, if you'd want to put it in the freezer for maybe a half hour, but I like it like this. So let me see. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's delicious. Got those little chunks of watermelon in there. Really good. Two thumbs up on this one. So I think I've given you quite a few no baked pies. I have one more that I want to make for you. So don't forget. If you're not a subscriber, become one. Because I'd love to have you part of my Baking Diva family. And you won't miss any of these recipes. So, I hope everyone's having a nice weekend. Um, it was a little cloudy and cool here today in New Jersey, but the sun came out. Mm. Welcome with food in my mouth. And it's beautiful. So hopefully it'll be nice tomorrow. So I want to thank everybody who stopped by to visit me on my channel and see me make this no-bake watermelon pie. I hope to see you all again soon. Um, love you all. And what do I usually say at the end? Cameraman, hit it. Toodles. Toodles. Uh, uh, uh.